All the way my Savior leads me Cheers each winding path I tread Gives me grace for every trial Feeds me with the living bread Good morning, welcome to Chester ARP Church Devotional Podcast. Great day to be together. 1 Samuel chapter 12, beginning in verse 6. Here we go. And Samuel said to the people, The Lord is witness, who appointed Moses and Aaron and brought your fathers up out of the land of Egypt. Now therefore stand still, that I may plead with you before the Lord concerning all the righteous deeds of the Lord that he had performed for you and for your fathers. When Jacob went into Egypt and the Egyptians oppressed him, then your fathers cried out to the Lord, and the Lord sent Moses and Aaron who brought your fathers out of Egypt and made them dwell in this place. But they forgot the Lord their God, and he sold them into the hand of Sisera, commander of the army of Hazor, and into the hand of the Philistines, and into the hand of the king of Moab. And they fought against them, and they cried out to the Lord and said, We have sinned because we have forsaken the Lord, and have served the Baals and the Ashtaroth. But now deliver us out of the hand of our enemies, that we may serve you. And a Lord, and again the Lord sent Jerubbabel, and Barak, and Jephthah, and Samuel, and delivered you out of the hand of your enemies on every side, and you lived in safety. And when you saw that Nahash, king of the Ammonites, had come against you, you said to me, No, but a king shall reign over us. When the Lord your God was king, and now behold the king whom you have chosen, for whom you have asked, behold, the Lord has set a king over you. If you will fear the Lord, and serve him, and obey his voice, and not rebel against the commandment of the Lord, And if both you and the king who reigns over you will follow the Lord your God, it will be well. But if you will not obey the Lord, voice of the Lord, but rebel against the commandment of the Lord, then the hand of the Lord will be against you and your king. Now therefore stand still and see this great thing that the Lord will do in your eyes. Is it not wheat harvest today? I call upon the Lord that he may send thunder and rain. And you shall know and see that your wickedness is great, which you have done in the sight of the Lord, in asking for yourselves a king. So Samuel called upon the Lord, and the Lord sent thunder and rain that day, and all the people greatly feared the Lord and Samuel. And all the people said to Samuel, Pray for your servants to the Lord your God, that we may not die, for we have added to all our sins this evil, to ask for ourselves a king. Samuel said to the people, Do not be afraid, you have done all this evil. Yet do not turn aside from following the Lord, but serve the Lord with all your heart. And do not turn aside after empty things that can pro- cannot profit or deliver, for they are empty. For the Lord will not forsake his people, for his name's sake, because it has pleased the Lord to make you a people unto himself. Moreover, as for me, far be it from me that I should sin against the Lord by ceasing to pray for you. And I will instruct you in the good and right way. Only fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart. For consider what great things the Lord has done for you. But if you still do wickedly, you shall be swept away, both you and your king. Samuel gives a great warning to the people of God after Saul has been anointed and after Saul has been proclaimed to be the king over the people of Israel. In his farewell address, Samuel gives one final warning to the people. The Lord appointed Moses and Aaron. The Lord is the one who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord is the one who delivered you from the hand of your enemies. It is the Lord who sent forth judges to lead you and direct you and to guide you and deliver you from the hand of your enemies. But now you have decided that you want a king. You no longer want the Lord to be king over you. You have decided that you want to be a king. You want a king like every other nation. That's a sinful thing because you have rejected the Lord as your king. Samuel says to the people. And now therefore, they must continue on, confess that sin, but also live in righteousness unto the Lord. They must continue to be faithful unto him, because if they or their king cease to be faithful to the Lord, then the Lord will deliver them over into the hand of their enemies. I think it's an interesting thing, especially in the time in which we live, in 2023, When this is first published, it's July 3rd, 2023. Samuel says to the people of God, Do not be afraid, for you have done all this evil. 
But then he continues on and says, For the Lord will not forsake his people, for his name is great, because it has pleased the Lord to make you for himself a people. But he says here, you cannot trust, right? Do not be afraid. Do not turn away from following the Lord. Serve the Lord with all your heart. Do not turn aside after empty things that cannot profit or deliver, for they are empty. In other words, what he says in this context is, don't give up your faith in the Lord to trust in your earthly king. Saul's power, Saul's ability is derived, and his authority is derived from the Lord. Do not turn aside from following the Lord and to, unto that which cannot deliver you and cannot profit you. And I think that's important for us if you're living in the United States of America in July of 2023 to be reminded that we are called to trust the Lord if you're a Christian. We have presidents, we have representatives, we have senators, we have a government structure over us. And we are thankful for the opportunity to elect those officials. But the reality of it is that ultimately our duty and responsibility is to serve the Lord. First and foremost, putting our faith and trust in princes of this earth, whether they be Republicans or Democrats or independents or someone else, is not going to benefit us long term. It is going to lead to our destruction, for they can neither deliver us nor profit, of, profit us. Only the Lord can do that. So serve the Lord faithfully with all our hearts. Consider what great things he has done for us and walk with him. If we fail to do that, we will receive what is coming to us. And we will receive the recompense that will be visited upon our heads. But if we trust the Lord, walk with him, and seek to live with him in faith and obedience, we will find the blessing that comes from following the Lord and the hope of everlasting life. You guys take care. God bless you. Trust the Lord today. Give him thanks and praise for all things. See you tomorrow. You carry me close to your heart and surely your goodness and mercy will find